Sorry, I'm having too much fun at work again. I know, no fun at work, but this thing's been pointing at my face the whole time. I'm like, I just hope it's not loaded. You won't believe what's in it. I mean, this is huge, cool looking. No, there's something in here. It's huge. Oh my gosh. This might be the best, best find I've seen the whole time. Hey YouTube universe, how are we doing today? Robert Zaba auctioneer extraordinaire with what do they call you, Silent? Silent Shane. Giant Silent Shane, and he does talk, ladies and gentlemen. Man, hope everyone's having a great day. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. So many great videos, you won't believe it. From hoarder houses, millionaire mansions, I mean, unbelievable epic units, train units, Harley Davidson units, tools. I mean, it goes on and on. So many great things. Take a look, subscribe, Second Sense, and the best thing about us, you can bid on items, www.secondsense.com, www.secondsense.com, and I can't wait to get through this stuff. Got some great boxes. Let's take a look. Tall or short? Tall. He's going to go with the tall one for silence. Shane makes a decision. I like that. He was quick. He didn't even hesitate, ladies and gentlemen. All right. What do you think we got in here? Oh, yes. Right on top. Look at that. Look at that, Shane. Oh, right there. Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. I guess I'm just trying to talk too fast. Auction air from. All right, what do you now? Now I got Coca-Cola right here. Barbie, that's what I was trying to say. Coca-Cola Barbie now, 59.75. Yeah, 59.75. So look, it's got a little number on here. Looks like he probably bought this maybe at an auction. So, but look at that. Nice little dial there. Look at the original price. Original price. You see it? What does it say, Shane? 60 bucks. $60 for a Coca-Cola Barbie. Beautiful piece. Awesome, man. I'm getting excited now. Oh, look at this. This thing's giant. Oh, wow. Unbelievable. Pioneers of Aviation. Lockheed right there. Super Constellation. One, 144 scale right there. Corgi. That is a great name and die cast toys. That is an awesome, awesome plane, ladies and gentlemen. And I got to imagine it's got to be at least a $50 bill, but... I don't know. We'll have to see. I mean, it's a really nice piece. Man. So excited. What else could be in this box? All right, let's see what else we got in here. What the heck is <laughs> Oh, look at this dude. Hello. I am the conductor. So it's like some kind of alarm clock, Shane. And uh, I don't know. There's a name on the back. Made in Taiwan. That's a long time ago. So that's a nice piece. 1992. Before I was born. born. Silent Shane? 2003. 2003, ladies and gentlemen, that's right. He's just a young young kid. He's got a lot to learn, but he's learning a lot at Second Sense, that's for sure. He's learning don't buy junk. This is cool, Shane. This is cool. I don't even know how to get it out, though. Look at this thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is that awesome or what? It's an old Tonka. This is like the ambulance. Look at the side door opens up, Shane. Look at that. I mean, you wish they made toys like that still, you know? Unbelievable. A little rescue thing. They can put the stretcher in the back. Pretty cool piece. What do you think? And this thing is heavy, ladies and gentlemen. Tonka, pressed steel. Money, money, money. Oh man, I can't wait. Oh, speaking of Tonka, look at this. Oh! It's the Mighty Tonka! 768 right there. So this is definitely a newer Tonka. But still, it's got the pressed steel and mixed with plastic. So not as good as the pressed steel toll, but see? Getting cheaper every day. That's all plastic down there, ladies and gentlemen. My son has Tonka trucks. They're probably 50, 40 years old. He still uses them in the sand playing with them. They still work. 
So I don't know if this one will stand the test of time like the old ones, but still great for kids. Do you have any Tonkas when you were a kid, Shane? Yes, I had a whole like three set, three three of them. Nice. Had had that one. Did you used to dig in your backyard. Yep. Fill it with dirt. Dump yep. it out. Look at this, Shane. You know what this is? It's a car car trailer. That's right. That's an old Tonka car trailer. Let's see. You see that? You push that, and that thing drops down. And then you pull it up like this. That's so you can put the other cars on there. It's got the ramp. So a lot of times, like this piece is missing, this piece is broken off. And the other thing you want to look at when you get vintage toys is the paint. Look at, you know, and this paint is pretty good overall. It's original paint. Sometimes people will paint them, touch them up. See like the rust right back here. But that's the only spot I see really bad. So there's got to be a cab for this. I'm sure hoping, because it's not worth a lot without the cab. It has value, don't get me wrong. Oh, there it is. Nice. Oh, but look at the cab. It's definitely a lot. Look at that paint. Got melted, peeled. I don't know. It looks like maybe someone tried to repaint it. So that's a damage. But over, I mean, the windshield's not cracked. These are little things you need to look for. Four wheels. I mean, it sounds simple, but there's all these little things. But this one does have some damage. Someone tried to paint over this part here. It has some wear, rust, but still a good, good toy right there. Press steel toys. Those are getting harder and harder to find. It's just like the toys from the 19, you know, 30s, 40s, they're harder to find. Now these toys are getting harder to find. Soon the toys from the 70s and 80s, they'll get harder and harder to find. Because what happens is people gobble them up slowly and they get put into collections. And then those whole collections are buried somewhere, hidden somewhere. Who knows? Oh, wow. That looks awesome. Man, I'm glad my son's not here. He loves, look at this, Ertl. Press steel. It's a newer one, I guess. It looked really old. I guess it's just because it's kind of worn, you know. Doesn't it look pretty old. It does. It's got a little rust up there, but still a nice press steel toy. Wow. This thing looks cool. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Look at this thing. It's like one of those uh, boats, you know, the army boats. And then they drive up right. on the beach. And this, it must have had uh, tracks on there, Shane. I bet you they had tracks on it that went around. And then it had these two tires. Oh, man, look at that. Made in Japan. This is called Tin Litho. Oh, that's awesome. So this is probably, you push it like that and it would just go, you know. It's called a friction car. So that's a nice, nice amphibious friction army. Just get some tracks for that thing and go to town, you know? Take it to the beach, to the pool. All right, I'm having too much fun at work again. I know, no fun at work, but this thing's been pointing at my face the whole time. I'm like, I just hope it's not loaded. You won't believe what's in it. I mean, this is huge, cool looking toy. Look at this thing. This is what's been pointing at my face. awesome wow this is real deal heavy duty pressed steel probably 1940s early 50s right there what's it say electronic cannon so this is an old marks toy right here wow it's really heavy looks like it had something that went here probably missiles i bet right here and here and those missiles probably put in the side here and i bet you launched it like this oh. smoke coming out of there? Just from the dust? Oh, we gotta find something to put in there, Shane. Start shooting. Maybe we can shoot Magic Mike. Think we can make it all the way over there? Put some marbles wow. in there. And look at this. Unbelievable. See right here, they got all this stuff that turns. You've got the little dial right there. And then look at the bottom. Oh, it says nylon toys. Wow. Look at Shoot, stop. Oh, man. Unbelievable. What an awesome, awesome find. 
so cool. I love vintage toys. It takes you back to your childhood and stuff. I mean, I wish I had a toy like this when I was a kid, but I probably got in a lot of trouble shooting my twin sister with it. So probably best I didn't have one. But who knows what else we're going to find. Got a whole other box. I mean, this box was loaded with awesome, and it came from the same place. Can't wait to see what's in this box. Keep watching. Wow, that last box. Unbelievable. So many great items. I mean, Silent Shane, he's over there playing with the toys. I had to get my, Magic Mike over here to video. Right, Magic Mike? Right. I'm messing around. Silent Shane's still on the camera. He's not playing with the toys. But maybe later I'll be playing with them. Let's see what we got in this box right here. So excited to get that last box. Look at this thing. Ooh, that's an old one right there. Now look at this. It looks like it's been repainted though. See that? Oh yeah, you can see right there. See, you see that drip? Mm -hmm. Now if you will see it on the camera, ladies yep. and gentlemen. These are things you're going to look for anytime you're dealing with antique, vintage toys, any kind of collectibles. People will do all kinds of things. So you got to make sure. I mean, someone goes, oh look at this, is mint condition. It's been repainted, okay? It's not mint condition. But if someone saw this and they didn't know any better, they might think, wow, look, it's never been played with. It's unbelievable. I can smell the paint on it. So, you know, it's definitely not old paint. It's an old toy, but I mean, it looks awesome. A great display piece, even though it's been repainted. Oh, look at another one. Oh, wow. These look like brother and sister. It's his and hers. You know? She wants the blue one, you have to take the red one. She wants the red one, you'll take the blue one. Either way, it works out. What do you think, Shane? His and hers? I think so. Good Valentine's gift. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. This, I mean, I can only see it's upside down, and I'm already excited how cool it looks. Oh, it's heavy. Another military truck. I love these old trucks. See on the wheels, it usually will say the name right there. Let's see what it says up there. Lumar. So this is a Lumar toy. And man, look at, I bet you this horn's always missing. See that little plastic horn up there? A lot of times this piece will be missing right here. This whole piece comes off. So little things like that. It's got the tires. So the paint's overall good shape. And look at it, it has some kind of like hitch back here. Look at it. So it's pulled something probably, probably another trailer, and it probably had a top that covered this probably. See all these little things up here? So it probably had some kind of like plastic cover that went over it. There probably was like two doors in the back, but it probably got broken. But still, very cool vintage toy. Oh. All right, Shane, 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 Shane. He doesn't like want to do the Shane, Shane, Shane song. Look at this, Shane, Shane, Shane. It's a cast iron toy, Express. Now, there's original ones and repro repops, you know. I mean, I can just tell how the wheels are made. It's a reproduction. But down here, you see this? It has a seam right here. And this one's not too bad, actually. The seam is pretty tight right there. And here, a lot of times the seam, the wider the seam, the more... It is, but like the originals, there would be no seam like that. would be, unless it got bent, you know, but there shouldn't be any seam there. It should be solid. So I'm going to guess it's a reproduction, but still the express little cast iron wagon with a baby goat. Yes. Oh, nice. Look at this gangster car right there. 1929, made in Japan. Those are the ones you see in the movies. So this is another friction car. Let's see if I can get this the little friction bad boy going. Oh! Don't step on it, Shane. So here's a little friction car, but it works. See? Playing with toys. Who's got the best job in the world? That's right. You never know what you're going to be doing at work, huh? Shane, Shane, Shane. Shane's like, I don't know, I'm just holding this camera. It's a tough job. It's tough. Somebody's got to do it, though. <laughs> Might as well be you, Shane. Oh-ho! Yes. 
This is cool. Look at that. The oil tanker. See if I see it like this. There's some kind of like coating. So this is definitely a newer. It's meant to look old. I could just tell. They would never do this. This is like powder coating. They never powder coated stuff in 1950s. 1960s. So this is probably some kind of reproduction. Let's see. Oh, right there. Look, look, look. See what it says on there? Made in China. You see it up there? Mm -hmm. So made in China. So this is meant to look old. It's a made in China one. Very well done. Chinese do a great job making re repop toys. But once again, know what you're looking at. Because original something like this is probably worth, in this condition, $100, $300. Repop, 20, 50 bucks. Who knows? All right, I had a quick phone call. Let's get through the rest of this box. Already some unbelievable vintage toys. Cast iron, pressed steel, tin, friction. Oh man, so exciting. So exciting. Chashi heard about it. He even showed up. Chashi? Chashi. All right, let's see what else. Ah, let's go this way. Oh, nice. I just seen right there Coca Cola. Look at, look at. These are so cool. This is a Buddy L, look at that. See on the tires? That's how you tell a lot of times people they'll have it on the tires. The tires are missing, they might have a little harder time. Sometimes they'll have it somewhere on here, might say like here it has a Buddy L Corporation stamp in there. But see they have this thing around there and the zip ties around there because this part opens up, then you these Coke things you can take out of there and the bottles will come out in like I think six or maybe the whole thing. The bottles come out of the little plastic Coke things. Very cool toy, toy. A lot of times those things are missing inside. And it's a cross collectible if you collect Coca-Cola. You want something like this. If you collect trucks, toys, you want something like that. You know what I'm saying? Tell me Shane. Shane, Shane, Shane. Oh, nice. That's another press steel. I mean, tin. Friction toy. Gangster style. Look, it looks kind of like this one. His and hers again. Oh man, I'll buy one for my wife, one for me. What do you think? 1929 license plate. Way before my time. Yeah, they're on here somewhere, it should be marked. Probably Japan. Yeah, it's, made, it's on the bottom of this license plate. It's so hard to see it, but it says made in Japan on 1929. On the bottom, I don't know if you have to go underneath that one. Here we go. So. Those are the good ones, 1950 stuff. Oh, wow. This one looks really, really nice. See, this one, you gotta be careful. It could have been repainted. They did, it did, it. They did an unbelievable job on it. It's another friction car. Let's see. Coming at you, Shannon. Step on. Go! Oh, yes! This is unbelievable. Very cool toy. Okay. Help me, Roy Robinson! Help me! Any idea, Shane? Any idea? Magic Mike, what is it? Help me, Roy Robinson! Help me! Uh, lost in space. Lost in space, thank you. The family that got lost in space back in what, 1960s? 70s? Late 70s, 60s, early 70s. Let's see what date is on this. Oh, this is a reproduction. It's 1997. But still, it is a cool, vintage little. So, Shane's going to go home tonight. He's going to put it on YouTube, a little lost in space action. Find out what the heck are they talking about. Oh, whatever this is, Shane, it's heavy. Oh, wow. Look at this thing. Pacemaker, freight system. Man, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. You just don't know. Look at all these awesome toys. And the best thing, you can bid on this stuff. www.secondsense.com and there's more in this box. I can't wait to see what else we got. What do you think, Silent Shane? More exactly. toys. I don't know. There's something in here. It's huge. Oh my gosh. This might be the best, best find I've seen the whole time.
hold this box of shame. This is unbelievable. I've never seen anything like this. You want to see it? Oh my gosh, look at this thing. Look at this. Wow. <laughs> is that unbelievable or what? Wow. Look at it. There's the name of the company right there. Highliner. Wow, this is so well made, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, just, I wish you could feel it. Just, it's unbelievable. It's so heavy. This thing will cut right in the ground. You could go quiet with this. Made in New Jersey. Hillside, New Jersey, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It's got Goodyear tires on it. I mean, this is nice, nice piece. Unbelievable condition. Real heavy. This could be two, three, four, five hundred dollar piece. I don't know, I haven't looked it up. The only thing I see right now, I mean, it has some condition issues, of course. It's missing one thing here. I don't know what else it's missing. I'll have to go through. I'm not sure if there's little front wheels on this thing or it was supposed to just have these two wheels because it pulls it back and it just goes. And I don't know, I'm gonna have to do, there might've been a guy that sat in the chair. I'm gonna have to do some research on this thing, but it's unbelievable. So cool. Huge earth mover right there, 1950s. Heavy, heavy press steel. I mean, what else can I say? I'm basically speechless after finding something like that. I'm gonna have to do some research. I love vintage toys, love seeing things. People love vintage toys because it brings them back to that time of their life when most people had great time, their childhood. Some people had horrible childhood, I feel bad for those people, but most people had a great childhood and man, some of these things, like that Lost in Space, people are like, oh man, I remember Robbie the Robot, and Rob, you sound so horrible doing the Robbie the Robot impression, and I know. But hey, I appreciate everybody watching. Who knows what we're going to have next. Don't forget, all this stuff's going to be in our toy auction, www.secondsense.com. Take a look in the auction. Tons of great stuff coming up. Man, we appreciate everybody out there watching. Take a look at our other videos, and don't forget, subscribe! Thank you all.